I was mostly reviewing vaccination related abstracts and um, there are some very interesting approaches, both programmatic and in terms of vaccinology proposed to, you know, how we, how we solve the problem of emerging and resurging infectious diseases, both in terms of what we vaccinate with and how we vaccinate people. So there's a lot of breadth there. There are two particular diseases right now, uh, invasive pneumococcal disease and measles, where there are quite a few, um, quite a few abstracts because with measles, we have epidemiology changing because of non-vaccination. And then with pneumococcus, we have epidemiology changing because of vaccination with a vaccine that's really good. So, so that's very, very interesting and kind of timely stuff. In terms of vaccination, a lot of it relates to trying to use vaccines differently, use them better, uh, improve, uh, uh, improve uh, issues around vaccine hesitancy so people actually use the tools we have. Um, yeah, th those, are, uh, those are common themes that we, we have these tools but we don't use them or we need new tools. I'm curious about, um, there's, at the time that we're filming this, there's a mysterious pneumonia cluster in Wuhan in China that folks have talked about as possibly being a SARS-like event. Having lived through SARS in Toronto tw almost 20 years ago now, I hope that's not the case. And I, I'm not sure whether or not that will be the case. So, you know, by the time the meeting rolls around, if that turns out to be a thing, I suspect we'll be talking about um, uh, talking about Wuhan fish market disease in Paris in April 2020. But you know, the interesting thing about infectious diseases is it's never the thing that you expect that tends to come and bite you. It's it's often surprises. So it's what makes it interesting to be in our field. So I, I'd say all bets are off.